you can't judge a show by its pilot, but we're gonna judge this pilot right here. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. We're gonna talk about it. Yeah. We have ideas and thoughts. Got some ideas, some tips, some pointers, some suggestions, perhaps a consulting credit. That's all I'm saying. I mean, basically just Stephanie J. Block. Can the, you give the people some history? Okay. For in certain cases, people have in the past walked in, fresh face, no credits, no experience, and gotten parts in Broadway shows. But they have not booked the lead in a Broadway show. And, secondly, Stephanie J. Block. Steven Schwartz calls you, calls you and is up. like, Hey girl, somebody gave me your name. Uh, I'm writing this new musical. Let's work together on it. I need somebody to run through some songs. You know, and then you're thinking, this is it. This, this is my is moment. It. This is it. I'm going to get out of California. I'm going to get to New York City, City and get on Broadway. Yeah. I know, but you know what I mean? <laughs> no, no. I'm going to start doing right. not regional theater. Right. And you know, new a new show besides doing yeah. regional theater. Yeah. And then you get replaced by Indita Menzel and she wins a Tony Award. Here's here's what I would believe. Okay. I would believe that Ivy Lynn <clears throat> would workshop this role mm -hmm. and that somewhere in the, in the process, because in the pilot they're still very early in the creative stage, but they're trying to do casting, so that they would do casting and either replace or have her compete with another actress, but not a completely fresh face. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where it's like, yes, Ivy Lynn, a.k.a. Stephanie J. Block, would have to compete against someone else, but it would be Adina Menzel, not Mrs. Nobody from Ohio. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you don't have I you don't have Stephanie J. Block competing against another nobody. Right. How'd she get that appointment? This is the thing that is the least the least believable, believable is that she got that appointment. It was obviously submissions only. In front of the creative team. Yeah. I know that this is stuff that we know that yeah. other people uh, don't know, yeah. but then that makes me think that people are gonna think they can come to New York. Go to an audition, sing, sing beautiful, beautiful, and get a lead in a workshop that no. ends up being on Broadway. No. Future Broadway stars of America. Certainly not these That days. is not how this shit goes down, girlfriend. Do not believe it for a second. That's not how it works. You gotta work. You gotta work, honey. You gotta put in the time. And listen, even if maybe you're Kristen Chenoweth and you show up in New York City to help a friend move for the day and you sit all day and wait for equity to finish and you get an audition and you get a part in Animal Crackers... That's awesome, but that is not leading in a Broadway show. Well, also, doesn't that seem like you... It's it's more dedication by you if you're sitting around all day? Yeah. You could easily do a montage of her being like... I know! I'm hungry. I oh, gotta stay here. All these girls, you know, mm. equity. And they all walking by and walking by and walking by, and she keeps going up to the guy. Do you know how much longer I'm gonna have to and wait? they're like... Sorry, it's gonna be a bit longer. Oh, not You're equity. Not equity. Mm. Yeah. If you have an example of a time when somebody has showed up in New York City and on their like with zero credits and and auditions and gets the lead in a Broadway show, tell me because I don't know what it is. Well, I don't let's say this happened. though. We don't know that she gets a lead in a Broadway show. Sure, 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 sure. But we do. The reason why Funny Girl worked was because Barbara Streisand was the same caliber of star that Fanny Bryce was in her own time. You know what mm. I mean? Where, like, yeah, like where she was that same type of, like, intangible, incredible, amazing, effervescent. And what they're trying to sell me here is funny girl, but with someone who is not Barbara Streisand playing Fanny. You know what you could do to make me believe that she's amazing? Don't auto-tune her voice so much. Seriously. Seriously. Let me hear her voice. Well, this is what I'm saying about the, the funny girl Bar Barbara Streisand oh. thing. Is that like... What they're trying to sell you in that audition where like the lights change and everyone at the table is like, yes. 
I am beautiful. Oh, yeah. And, they're and like, so like, like, I'm beautiful. Oh, and they're like feeling it or whatever. And they're artificially trying to convince you that this is like a moment. And that there is like something fucking amazing happening. And I have seen those moments happen on I've stage. I've seen them I, on TV, too. Yeah. Like, we've, like you, when that moment is happening, you know it's happening. And the lighting and the way they edited it was like trying to artificially make that happen. But if the song and the singing had been that on its own, they wouldn't have even needed to do the lighting when they like the lights fade away and she's no, singing yeah. to her boyfriend or whatever. It would have just been that amazing. <sighs> Stephanie J. Block! I I'm saying that I have heard Megan Hilty sing live. And she's amazing. And that shit does not need no auto tune. Why auto tune? Why, 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 why? The, their voices are so beautiful. Their voices are so amazing. Why ruin them? You're why? taking all the character out of it. Besides the fact oh that God. this show is completely preposterous and ridiculous. We need, like, palate cleanser. <laughs> I love Deborah Messing. <laughs> she was. Like, here's the thing. Besides the. The, the things that pissed us off about believability as people who know a little bit more than the average viewer, I actually really liked it. I and I was like, it, I want to like it, and I, I think that besides the nitpicky things we're pulling out, I'm like, I want this show to be good. I think it's got a lot of potential. I think it could be really great. I just want to believe the story they're trying to tell. Mm -hmm. And right now that's not happening. Because like everybody who's in it, you know, Deborah Messing, Angelica Houston, Brian Darcy James, they like well, they don't use him. I mean he's they, amazing, just, but he's, he's better amazing, but they're have wasting some sort him. of they better give Honey, him some. did you know that I can sing moment? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the moment they had where they're both getting ready for the audition. Yeah. And singing the same song and then you go in and you find out that it, that's the audition yeah. song was an amazing song so well written well, because it worked song. for both of the girls. For both their characters, and for Marilyn, and for the show. Yeah. So it, like, was genius and very, like, pitch-perfect musical theater because, excuse me, yeah. professional. Professional. Profe yeah. So in this song that both mm. girls are singing as they're getting ready for the audition, uh, and then they go into the audition, and at one point, they split into harmony. And in my head, all I can do is, in, in the reality of that world, they're singing by themselves in front of those people. And that means that one of them <laughs> is singing the harmony line. <laughs> Megan Hilty is just standing in an audition just singing so harmony. Singing, singing one note at the top singing of the range harmony. as Catherine McPhee is singing the melody. And oh, I, it, it cracks me up whenever that happens, and it happens a lot. Things that are unbelievable that I'm willing to believe are like, how fastly the production is. Yeah, I mean moving. it bumps fast, me out you know, that we didn't get to see any songwriting sessions. Yeah, I wanted to but see I that. Understand why? Listen, Stephanie J. Block. Oh yeah. That's just like I'm sorry, <clears throat> but if you want to argue with me about this, all I have to say is Stephanie J. Block Exhibit A, Stephanie J. Block Exhibit B, Stephanie J. Block Exhibit C, Stephanie J. Block. That's all the proof you need. Did that rhyme? Can we talk about how the major selling point for creating a Marilyn Monroe musical for everyone was that they could include a baseball number? I loved that. I loved that, that was, runner. And that was also that like a fantastic runner. musical theater runner because everybody loves a baseball number. Yeah. Yeah, that was great. Listen, I hope that this show sticks it out long enough for me to see Bernadette Peters as Megan Hilty's mother. That's what I hope. We'll see, Smash. We'll see.